best DMT trip in the history of cinema is the end of 2001 in Space Odyssey. I saw it when I was, when I was six. Ah, I was too young. But every year I was going. I just wanted to see 2001. I wanted Space Odyssey. Every time I was playing in Buenos Aires, then I was playing in France. But I would just go because I wanted to get wasted. And I've seen the movie like 40 times since. The truth is that reality, we perceive of reality, it's not reality, it's just a dream. So at any moment in your life, you're not perceiving reality, you're just perceiving a dream of reality. In your life, you should write everything. That's important because the only thing they cannot keep of you are emotions. Do you keep a journal? No. But I mean, who is that kind of interpreted my the best and worst moments of my life in it's a way that pretends not to put away. There are a few movies that pretend to show how bad it can be to be on drugs, but they never show you how good it is to be on drugs and then see it. Come on! My best moments in life are love moments or drug moments. I know many people here don't do drugs. You should regret it. <laughs> Making movies. It's not only earning money, it's not showing you all, it's just like you don't make so many movies in your life and the moment you do them, you say, I just want to justify my life. Some people justify the, their life, joining the army, joining whatever, but when I make a movie, I, above all, I want to be proud of my life and at that moment you say, well, I want to be proud of my life. That's the only thing that I have left. In, I'll be leaving this planet uh, soon or in 20 years or 40 years, 50 years, I don't know. But uh, don't do for money what you wouldn't do for free.